In this video, we delve into why navies and commercial cruise lines are so biased towards these two hues on the opposite side of the color spectrum. Now, in the case of subs, it's all about staying hidden. The color black is scientifically known to reflect the least amount of light. This can help a sub and blend in with the darkness of oceans. Remember, once you are 200 meters deep into the water, there is barely any light and using black paint reduces the amount of light reflected off the surface, making it harder for enemy ships or aircraft to spot your sub from a distance. But has black always been the number one choice? Well, not really. It is only thanks to a series of tests and trials through the early 20th century that we can now be so sure that black is the way to go. You see, during World War I, when the first military subs were used, they were painted in all sorts of colors, like white, gray, and blue. But these colors proved ineffective in terms of providing enough camouflage. In the 1920s, the Royal Navy went for a shade of green and brown to blend in with the ocean. But even these colors were only found to be effective in shallow waters. Before World War II broke out, the US Navy conducted a series of tests in 1937 at Pearl Harbor trying out a number of different colors such as purple, blue, green, and black. It was found that dark blue offered the best camouflage in the clear tropical waters. By the time the war broke out, most subs were painted gray, with Germans using a combination of gray and blue-green to blend in with the water. The Germans also used specific patterns to break up the sub's silhouette, making it even harder to spot. Today, Almost all subs are painted black, except maybe those belonging to Iran, who prefers to paint its subs green, a popular color among navies that only have to move in clear, shallow, and coastal waters where the color of the water tends to be blue-green. Remember, black is also an effective color for absorbing heat, which helps to keep the submarine's internal temperature stable. Plus, painting a sub black helps to protect it from corrosion. But is hiding from enemy ships, subs and satellites the only reason most subs are painted black? Well, no. It's also to do with the type of panels used when building the exterior. Anechoic tiles used in subs are also a kind of rubber tile dotted with thousands of tiny voids. But isn't rubber naturally white? Well, yes, but nowadays, carbon black is added to natural rubber in order to enhance its elastic properties. Adding carbon also increases the tensile strength of a tire by at least 10 times, making it much more durable than rubber found in nature. When applied to the outer hulls of military subs, these tiles offer a number of advantages. Carbon black present in these tiles helps a submarine bear the high pressure of deep sea. Research also shows that carbonized rubber is also good at absorbing sounds emitted by the sub engines, making it harder to detect the sub for enemy vessels. And just for some historical context, it was actually the Germans who first developed used these on back in the 1940s. The Soviets developed these much later in the 1970s and first used them when building the intimidating Akula-class SSBN. By 1980s, the US and the Royal Navy were doing the same. Now on to our next big question for the day. When you picture a cruise ship in your mind, what color do you see? We are guessing white. From small private yachts to gigantic luxury vessels, is there a reason most luxury yachts are painted a pristine white? There's of course, some basic physics at play. White is the best reflector and worst absorber of light in the entire color spectrum. This means that a white exterior can prevent the ship from heating up, reducing the burden on air conditioning systems. Remember, people pay vast sums of money to be on board a luxury cruise for a comfortable voyage. This means the ACs have to work in full throttle. With an exterior painted bright white, the temperature of the interior of the ship is reduced thanks to a simple scientific phenomenon called thermal regulation, basically preventing the ship from becoming a giant oven in the middle of nowhere. Remember, a significant chunk of a vessel's operational cost goes towards regulating the temperatures inside its cabins and public areas. But that's not it. There's another practical reason cruise ships are painted white. Remember, 
cruise ships are constantly exposed to harsh oceans, elements such as salt water, direct sunlight, and drastic changes in temperature. So, keeping up the exterior is crucial for the vessel's longevity and performance. Thankfully, white paint tends to hide the effects of wear and tear a lot better than more bright, vivid colors, which tend to fade. Plus, using a light color also allow the ship's maintenance crew to spot rust quickly and tackle potential problems in time. You see, when corrosion spreads under paint layers, darker shades help conceal any swelling or other irregularities caused by oxidation. But a white surface actually makes it easier for the crew to identify any issues right away and take action before more extensive damage occurs. But is there more? Well, there's clearly some aesthetics involved too. White brings a clean and tidy look to the ship, shining against the blue background of the vast ocean. With many psychologists claiming that the color white invoked a strong holiday spirit among passengers. But that said, white is by no means the universal color of choice for cruise liners around the world. Many spend extra cash on holding onto their company's brand. For example, it's well known that Royal Caribbean International and Virgin Voyages have been experimenting with blue and grey colours for their ship exteriors. Just like that, the Carnival-owned Holland America has gone for a dark blue-coloured hull, reflecting the company's tradition of sailing along the cooler transatlantic routes. White is also easier to spot by the naked eye or even for radar systems during times of emergencies making it easier for search and rescue efforts to locate a ship and overall safety at sea for both the passengers and crew aboard. So yeah, the next time you head out on a cruise for your rich friend's wedding, don't forget to admire one of these floating marvels from afar as you ponder over the subtle brilliance behind that gleaming white exterior. If you enjoyed watching the video, make sure to hit subscribe so you never miss out on a chance to learn more about ships and submarines in the future.